Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day for Figma and for us because the biggest Figma competitor powered by AI is here. They even got the top product of the day on Product Hunt as well. And the pricing is going to surprise you and Figma both. So let's just get started. All right, so straight up, let's just talk pricing because that's the first thing they show us. So for most of you guys, you can take up the free plan, which has unlimited personal files. Yay! No more paid drafts. Three Motive files, which I believe will have all the premium features, chat, etc. For now, Motive AI, which is their AI suite of tools, is completely free until they are in beta, but then of course they'll probably include it under their pricing. Now the pricing right now is much lower than Figma. I'll put a little screenshot of Figma pricing. And if you just need the dev mode, they will only charge you $1 per month if you need dev mode only. For all the other features, you can just use it for free, which is very good because it's very flexible. Again, let's just skip this. Let's just get the free plan. Let's get started. The home screen itself looks very similar to what you'll find on Figma. You have your projects here. Inside your recents, you also have an import from Figma and Sketch both. So in Figma, you can only import from Sketch. Here you can import from all those tools. The interface itself looks extremely similar to Figma's old design before UI3, so UI2. I think that's pretty awesome. So right here, they have a separate little button for plugins, which is nice. They only have a limited set of plugins right now. Now let's try out all their AI tools that they, of course, are boasting here on their website. To begin with, they, of course, have something called AI reduplication, which is very good. If I have a card with my name on it, so Puni Chavla, and this card I need to replicate. I would need to have multiple names of different people. I can then go here and say AI reduplication. Automatically, if I expand this to another card and it is also giving it a new name live here. So anytime I need to duplicate it, I click on D and just scroll down or stretch it like this. I can duplicate it many times and it's gonna give me new names. I also like the fact that it detects that I have an Indian name and it's giving other people Indian names as well, which is really cool. The same it can do for images as well. So I have an image of myself. If I duplicate this, as you can see, Derek Wong has this kind of a photo. So depending on the kind of image you have, if you have an illustration, an icon, it will add images according to. Now in their tool, AI can also create AI layout. So I click on AI once again, AI layout and AI builds temporary structure. What it's going to do is it's going to add auto layout to every relevant um, button or piece of information here, right here. As you can see, everything now is inside an auto layout. You can then manually adjust things according to auto layout and make everything according to your preferences. You can automatically generate UI designs as well right inside here using a prompt. I can do that and I can click on generate and it will generate a app for me right here. And as you can see in real time, it has started to generate my app right here with all the elements, foodie, it's given the name, home, popular, nearby, everything is added, auto layout, uh, all the elements are placed and organized well with information, images, Honestly, one of the best ones I've seen out there till date. The next AI feature actually fills up sections and spaces for you automatically using AI called AI Magic Box. And inside here, if I press this, drag a rectangle like this, as you can see this colorful rectangle develops. Right here, it will understand what the content on my screen here is. You can write a quick prompt, so a list for music albums. And based on that, it will just quickly generate that particular section only. If I click on it, it creates this. And if I want to expand it, I'll use AI reduplication and just drag out. And as you can see, more sections, more cards can automatically be created. I think this is a good seamless software, works extremely similar to Figma and everything works nice. Now the next one is called AI Design System Generator. Inside the file, you can say start recognizing and from inside here, it starts recognizing buttons, text, titles, links, etc. and will now generate a design system for us. As you can see, it has detected 7,000 layers and as you can see, they have created different pages for everything here. Typography, color, effects also, so things like shadows, everything has been organized so well. Now, I would have loved to see other aspects of design systems, coded elements, um, tokens, etc. Even though most elements, tokens, etc. are here, but some are just named things like used eight times. <laughs> Not, I, I wish the layer naming as well as the tokens were here. 
that's the only thing that is missing but apart from that it's pretty nice if you like this video or if you like this tool give a huge thumbs up let me know in the comments if something like this is appealing to you do you think this such a tool can compare or compete with figma see you in the next video next week until next time take care god bless